Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6.5 of my Kerbal Space Program LP, where we will be doing the uh, return trip from the Mun. So, as for those of you paying attention, we managed to lose two solar panels in the uh, landing. But I'm hoping that the misweighting won't kill us entirely. At least I hope not, we'll see. Don't want to lean. I'm worried if I give it too much thrust, I'm just going to tip over. <laughs> yeah, the solar panels don't weigh much. Alright, so yeah, that's what I was afraid of, that I'd just kind of tip over. Because I'm technically off weight because of the solar panels. <laughs> Luckily for me, however... Um... I think I'm gonna be fine because I the the, the misweighting isn't that bad. But we'll see. So it's a pretty slow takeoff. Everything's okay though. I can't go barreling, but I'm sure I'll be fine. 66%? No. I'll stick at 50 though. Oh god, just cut power, cut power, cut power. Do your thing, Mech Jeb. Straighten me out. Alright. So we aren't exactly escaping uh, the Mun yet, but. We'll be able to do it. 50% engines. Alright. Nice and easy. This thing is designed to eject. And uh, we can do a nice little splashdown with this parachute here. At least here's hoping. We may need to bring our brave heroes home, the first Kerbals to walk on the Mun, and survive. I mean, the last guys got to walk on the Mun for a bit, but... You know, um... With, without trying to make it a gay innuendo, r rock it up the arse. <laughs> it's the best way I can put it. All right, so we will reach Mun Escape soon. Get me retrograde. Whoop. All right. I'm going to have to burn retrograde sooner or later. As we can see, I will eventually... I now have pretty much an equal uh, orbit here. little too much. I'm kind of hoping to have almost no speed when I reach the um, orbital point, so I just kind of fall in, but apparently that's impossible. Because it then just starts shooting me around in orbit. It's kind of weird. Oh well. Whatever, once we do the orbital transfer... Alright, there we go. Mun escape. We'll just have to wait it out. Easy does it. 
Yeah, so let's see the speed before and after this transfer. So we're 12 minutes out, all right. Before and after this transfer. So we're looking at, you know, 18, 17, 16, 15. Oh, there we go. And 547. So, you know, we mysteriously picked up a lot of speed from nowhere. Give me a pitch. Actually, well, let's just burn retrograde. Burn retrograde, ditch all of our speed. And then we can fly home. Since we picked up a heck of a... Oh, wait, right, I can't full burn, can't full burn. This is also why I can't use mech jab, because it's just going to auto full burn and cause me to start spinning around. And it will break. What? I'm going to have a mun encounter. Surf a pitch of negative 90. I want to be pointing straight at Kerbin when I burn. There we go. Alright, so far so good. I'm just trying to get out of the freaking orbit of the Mun. Well, let's wait for our periapsis. I think that's the best thing to do. We'll be lower then. Oh, that was about to have a Mun encounter. Blame the computer for that one if I did. Alright, so this, this is close enough. I don't want to go behind Kerbin entirely because I'm worried that landing in the night may be tricky. Mostly due to his oxygen issues, but he was hoping that it isn't. But so far, so good. Burning retrograde, retrograde. This is pretty simple. Just need to slow it, slow ourselves down. Use all of our speed that we mysteriously picked up for no apparent reason when we transferred from Mun to Kerbin orbit. Those things are still orbiting from a failed launch of mine. Alright, we're getting good. <clears throat> things are going okay. All right, the periapsis should drop into the planet soon. Excellent. 900,000, 800, 700, 600, 500,000. I'll do adjustments as needed but I should land in the middle of an ocean if I'm lucky. Or on that peninsula if I'm really unlucky. Luckily the planet will orbit, so we'll see. As I said, I can do adjustments as necessary. Alright, that might have been a little too much, but we'll see. Kerbin orbits really quickly. Like, scary quickly. Whoa. And we just passed through the planet. Whoops. Alright, let's give it another landing attempt. These crazy Kerbals passing through the planet. Alright. I think it's looking okay.
Alright, so we should be entering the atmosphere pretty soon. Slash, we're already in the atmosphere. Alright. Let's burn off some speed. Undeploy. So they don't break off. Not that it matters. Nuh. Those things aren't going to survive. There's, you know, HQ over overhead. And try and slow our descent slightly. Oh, I mean, we've already begun re-entry. There's no stopping it. It's just I'm worried that it uh, might be going a little too quick. I'm always worried we're going too quick with Kerbin because the atmosphere is just such an amazing airbag. Easy does it. Alright. I'd say it's looking pretty good now. Prepare for ejection procedure. I probably could have done a soft touchdown at Kerbal HQ if I'd timed it right, but uh, I'm not that good at landing, as we all saw from the Mun, especially with a misweighted um, ship. I don't want to try it. Okay, we are free. All right, it's looking good. Looking good, preparing to deploy the parachute. Deploying parachute. And we are slowing down. Excellent. Wow, this is this has gone off without a hitch. I was expecting everybody to die on the return flight. There they go. Impact. I love how parts of it has managed to survive. I wonder if I can drag them that shoot over. I can. Let's try and land closer to that debris. I want to see it. Holy crud, those landing legs are bouncing in the water. <laughs> landing legs OP. But everyone survives. It was a nice splashdown. These three brave Kerbins walked on the mun and came back to tell the tale. I salute thee. I also salute those landing legs over there. Ugh. Can I paddle? I don't think so, no. Can't paddle. Oh well. And that's it for this mini episode of Kerbal Space Program. The return flight was good, and everyone survived. For once. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you uh, enjoyed the video, feel free to like it and subscribe. Because I'm going to be doing a lot more of this. I still have to land on Minimus. Oh, the challenges, the challenges. Well, see you all next time. This is Calvin signing out.